was born in this village, bordering the Kasungu National Park, that is in Malawi. My life, those days, was uh, very tough. We grew in the poor family. Eh? Even uh, going to school was uh, a difficult thing. But uh, due to the hard working of the parents, I went to school and became a teacher. Being the village around the Kasungu National Park, these natural resources were very important. We saw our parents constructing the houses using the trees, and the, some people were going there killing animals, which was used as food. This was a problem, because that is a protected area. If you go there to do poaching or deforestation, it means we are destroying the natural resources, which as people, our role is to protect them. My name is Leonard Moyo. I'm the divisional manager for the central division, responsible for coordination of three protected areas in Malawi. When I was, I was young, uh, I didn't know that I was going to be a conservationist. It was just by chance that I saw an advert about conservation. I applied and I fell in love with this profession. In the year 2000, we started working together because we had realized that they were not seeing any direct benefits as one of the reasons why they were killing the animals, cutting down the trees. After sitting down as a community and the being sensitized by the National Park officials, we thought of establishing this, the Nyangwa Eco Lodge, in order to empower the community to have something through this lodge uh, instead of going into the park and destroying the natural resources there. Whatever is done here, it is under the advice of the National Park people. We work hand in hand and we rely on each other. We have a support, we have given us electricity, water. Some of the body members got an entrepreneurship training and leadership training. Now we have the knowledge and the skills on how to run something like this. And we also have traditional dances which are performed here. So when people come, they give them something which later on assists them. So now that money is found through this lodge. So there's no need of going to the park to kill the animals, cutting down the trees. They have realized that if they continue doing this, the visitors will not go to the Kasung National Park. Today, we have seen that that tree or that animal is very important for future use. For as long as humans and animals are there, we are bound to have a conflict. But what we have to fight for is to minimize. Humans and wildlife have to coexist. That is very important because without that, then Malawi will not grow.